This week, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken paid his first official visit to Europe since taking office. By taking part in a two-day meeting of NATO foreign ministers, Blinken hoped to revitalize the transatlantic alliance after four years of friction under the Trump administration. At a joint press conference with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg on Tuesday, Blinken said he came to express the United States' steadfast commitment to NATO. Uh, and I've come to Brussels because the United States wants to rebuild our partnerships, first and foremost, with our NATO allies. Um, we want to revitalize the alliance to make sure it's as strong and effective against the threats of today as it has been in the past. On Wednesday, Blinken met with top EU officials, including European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and EU's High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Josep Borrell. The US reached to repair uh, its alliance relations, and all, uh, including relations with the European allies and also ancient allies and Middle Eastern allies. One is about to repair the relations because it has been hurt during the Trump administration. We know that uh, Trump has favored transactional diplomacy rather than cooperation based on common values with its own allies. So that has damaged actually the confidence of allies toward the U.S. And the second point is about U.S. confidence about itself. Uh, we know the U.S. performance in its own experience of combating COVID-19 and also the demonstrations because of the ethnic issues. Uh, the U.S. confidence regarding its own democracy has been going down. So it needs to revitalize alliance relationship in order to call upon the allies to continue the uh, confidence as well as cooperation with the U.S. However, during this reconciliation trip, the U.S. Secretary of State openly criticized the Russia-Germany gas pipeline project Nord Stream 2. President Biden has been uh, very clear in saying that uh, he believes the pipeline is a bad idea, uh, bad, for, uh, bad for Europe, uh, bad for the United States. Uh, ultimately, um, it's uh, in contradiction to uh, the EU's own energy security goals. Blinken discussed this issue with his German counterpart, Heiko Maas, face to face on Tuesday night. The German Foreign Office tweeted later, without mentioning Nord Stream 2, which has become one of the key points of contention and dispute between Washington and its European allies. Some European observers have expressed doubt over whether the US will be able to revitalize transatlantic relations. Basically, he follows the US foreign policy that started during the previous administrations. Unfortunately, the EU keeps following Washington's dictates, even though it will undermine European interests. So far, I remain skeptical about the ability of the EU to learn to see itself as a geopolitical power sovereign from the US.